Hi and welcome to Texit Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to learn how to build some basic shapes uh, like triangle and circle using pure CSS. I'm going to show you some example of how it really works instead of just giving you style. So to learn that we're going to use this wonderful website called jsfiddle.net. Uh, I'm going to write my HTML here, CSS here, and then the result would show up here when I click on this uh, button run. So let's just create a simple uh, element. First, we're gonna uh, try to build a triangle. So for that, uh, we just need a, a simple div. There is no content. All I'm gonna do is add a class uh, equal to try. And here, I'm gonna use as class to style it using CSS. Um, what I'm going to do first of all, um, instead of building a triangle, let's build a, a square. And pretty much every object is actually square in uh, a rectangular. Sorry, uh, every object is rectangular in um, in HTML. So uh, we can simply give it a width of some, let's say, twenty pixels, and height of 20 pixels. Now we have to add also some color. Background color. Let's say red. Uh, and this little rectangular shows up. Um, yeah, I know it's not a triangle, but we're going to get there. But first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to add some border to it border I'm gonna say let's say uh, 30 pixel it's quite of a big border there uh, it's solid and uh, it's a gray color what it does it adds a 30 pixel a border I can actually do 60 pixel so it looks much bigger Okay, now it's a one, uh, one color border. I can actually divide this border in multiple colors uh, by saying border top. Let me copy and paste four times. So top right bottom and left and I'm gonna give it a different color so the first color I'm just gonna give it blue the second color is green the third color is yellow and the fourth color is gray let's run this hmm as you can see now you should start seeing the triangle because border are nothing because they don't really overlap so when you have when you give it a different color it actually gives you this triangular shape now I can pick any of these triangular so this would be like a down arrow this will be like an up arrow this would be like a, a right arrow and this would be like a left arrow all I have to do is remove this this uh, this weird thin so I can make this weird thin height to be zero pixels and when I run this, then I have four triangles. Now, let's say if I want to have uh, this triangle, uh, this up arrow, yellow. So I'm looking for this guy, yellow. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to remove this top. When I remove the top, it automatically I'm just gonna comment this out or just remove all well, I'm gonna comment this out for now so I can bring it together again uh, when I do this what happens the blue disappears now I have three different triangles all I have to m do is now make this two triangle transparent so left and right so I can say 
the, the right triangle. transparent and I'm also going to make this um, left also transparent but I have to remove the color uh, now they are transparent but I still have the background color so if I just remove the background color altogether, then I get a yellow triangle, which is up. If I want a, a down triangle, I'd, all I have to do is do this and add comment to this bottom part. And I have blue bottom triangle down now so this is how you actually build triangles using borders if you want to look at this example you can follow this link and you can access the example now let's build a circle for that, we also do the same thing. We create um, a div and uh, add a class called CIR. And here I'm going to style the CIR. Uh, again, every everything is rectangular so all I have to do is uh, background color is red I'm gonna give some width width is let's say 50 pixel and height is 50 pixel and when I run this it gives me a 50 pixel uh, square Now I can say border radius five pixel. When I do this, it adds this rounded corner around around here, as you can see. But instead of having this smaller corner, I can actually give the corner size of this fixed fifty pixel. And voila, it's, it gives me a, a circle, full circle. So this line does a trick. So I've saved up this tutorial here on, you can follow this URL and you can have access to this, this tutorial. So there you have it, circle and triangle. If you like this tutorial, Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and provide a constructive comment. And if you have a question regarding anything that I've covered in this tutorial, please feel free to actually email me or provide a comment. And if there is any topic that you would like to be covered, uh, then just email me and uh, I will be able to provide a tutorial on that topic within a, a week or two.